In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your initial idea for your printmaking project, create a complete sketch, and transfer it to your printing plate. As you can see here, I've started by creating five thumbnail sketches of different ideas for my printmaking project. You should already have completed the assignment called Printmaking Brainstorming, where you decide what subject matter you're going to tackle for your design. I've chosen to create an artwork around the idea of mental health and taking care of your brain. So you can see I have five different thumbnails here and I've decided to move forward with this design. What you need to do is grab a half sheet of white paper and a printing block. These printing blocks are four by six. You take the printing block, center it on your white paper, and trace it. By tracing your printing block, you will know exactly the size that your artwork needs to be. So you can see, there's my rectangle. My entire artwork needs to fit within the rectangle. You can see here, I have already drawn my artwork. Something very important to note is that your design on your paper is going to be reversed in your final print. So you can see here, these words, tend your garden, are written backwards. They're written in a mirror image. And that's very, very important to remember. If you write things the normal way, if your words look like this, in your final image, your words will be flipped and you'll be sad. So make sure that whatever words you want to write out are reversed in your design you draw on your white paper. Once you've drawn your design, you're going to take your white paper, you're going to flip it over. So this is the back side, And you need to take a 2B, 3B, or 4B pencil. See here, I have a 2B. You're going to take the 2B pencil and you are going to shade over the area where your artwork is. It doesn't have to be super pretty. Just make sure that you cover the area completely. Okay, so in my design, I don't really have anything in this corner, so I don't need to bother shading that area. But everywhere I have the flowers, I need to make sure that it's shaded. So you can see here, I'm almost done. I shade over my words. As you can see, because my paper is flipped, the words actually look correct. But that's fine because this is the back side. When you are done shading, you can flip your paper back over. And I like to fold the top edge of my design so that the top edge of the artwork is folded in, like so. Then you take your printing block, place it under your design, and you want to arrange the printing block so that your artwork is entirely covering the block. So I can feel here, that's where the edge of my block is. That's too far, I need to scoot it over a little bit until I have it lined up properly. Check that you have it lined up on both sides. That feels fine. Okay, then I'm going to fold over my design and I can take some tape and I'm going to tape my paper to my block. And I just tape the corners. Okay. Now, 
my design is attached to my printing block. My next step is you're going to take a ballpoint pen. I prefer blue or red because you can see the lines that you've drawn. And you need to take the ballpoint pen and you need to trace over all of the lines that you see in your design. Okay, every single line. When you do this, you need to press hard enough that your lines transfer, but not so hard that you poke a hole in the page. Okay, now what this is doing is we are basically creating our own carbon paper, which is where you write on top and it the lines you make transfer to the surface underneath. So you can see here, I drew in my lines. And if I lift my paper, you can see where I have lines appearing where I'm drawing. All right, so I'm going to speed this up a bit now because you don't need to watch me draw this whole thing in real time. So, I'll speed right through this and then I'll be back to tell you the next step. Okay.
when you are done you uh, going over all your lines with Sharpie, it will look something like this. Don't worry about the dirty pencil marks. We will not even see them when it is done. All right, in my next video, you will see how to carve your printing plate. That's it for now.